the first step is to buy the store card. So let's say I am friend A, and you will see across the demo, we'll have friend B, and then also the business. Now, I visit the store, or I visit the website um, of the business, and I buy that gift card. So maybe the store has a table tent or a poster or something, some kind of announcement that offers me to buy that store gift card because there is some kind of incentive attached to it. Could be a, an instant cashback. Like if I buy that store card, every purchase I will make, I would get 1%, 2%, 10% instant cashback or I may have another type of discounts. So there is a benefit for me as a consumer to buy that store card. So I click on buy the store card. We have a, a gallery of, of options. So I will choose the 25, but I can enter any amount I want. If I want 10, I can enter 10. Now, great, let's pay the card. So we integrate with Stripe. Boom, the card has been purchased. Thank you for your payment. How do you want to receive your store card? So three options, messenger, email, or SMS. Let's try SMS. Okay, so enter your phone number. And now what happens is that I have received an SMS. There you go. With a link to the card. So I click on the, on the link. My store card is now in my wallet on my iPhone, showing my balance of $25. And now I receive a push notification announcing that my card has been installed. And on the back of the pass, the business can put anything and especially this top-up link when you need to recharge your card. Now that I've me as friend A, I've purchased my store card, I can buy a, a gift card for a friend. Now, let's say that since I have a low balance of $9, dollars and 80 cents so i got a push notification and i got a message so now i can top up so multiple ways to top up i can click on this button or at any time on the back of the pass i can click on the link top up my card so let's see how it goes so the process is very similar we show them options of the payments but they can also type in the exact amount they want so i want to top up ten dollars same process as before when we bought the card, validate the security and purchase is made. And now what will happen is that I will receive a push that says that, thank you for topping up your card. Your current balance is now $19.80. Remember, I had $9.80 in the card. I topped at 10. Now it's $19.80. Now, again, do you want to treat anyone else you would like to treat, Philippe? So gift a friend. Let's see the next step. Now we'll gift a friend. So I will buy a card for a friend. And imagine that as a birthday gift, a birthday incentive. Imagine how many businesses can uh, encourage people to buy gift cards for people's birthday. So... Thank you so much for sharing the love. As a warm thank you, your own store card will get credited with up to 25% of the gift value. So everything of all those uh, settings are obviously customizable. Once the gift card has been purchased and the, your friend has installed, you will get an instant credit on your uh, on friend A store card. So I'm buying the card, same process, processing the payment. Now, what we have done here is we sent an email to the friend who purchased the, the card to a, another friend with the link they can share with their friend. So me, as friend A, I'm going to send a message to my friend B with the link. And this is how it goes. So my friend received the message. I just bought you a little gift. Hey, Marie France, you're a lucky one. Philippe just bought you a gift card. So they, have, they don't have anything to pay, right? So we skip the payment process because it's, it's all, has already been paid. They just have to add the pass to their wallet. And that's it. 
the gift has been made. Congratulations, Marie France. Your pass is now installed. And me, I now know that my friend has installed the pass and my card has been credited with my bonus. So now that I'm, I'm told that my friend B has installed the card, what do you want to do? Do you want to buy the card for another friend or top up a friend? So let's see the next step. What if when it's a friend's birthday, if all the other friends could send money to that friend celebrating his birthday or her birthday gift card? So you could have a whole bunch of friends sending credits to your gift card. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. And now I want to buy a card for another friend. So let's find this friend in our system. That's the business talking. Okay. Does this friend exist in our system? Awesome. We found him. Can you confirm this is the friend you want to top up the card for? Uh, yes, I confirm. That's him. Same process. How much money do you want to send to your friend's store card? Let's say it's, a, it's his birthday. I want to send him whatever amount. So I found the friend. Now let's see the top-up process of a friend. And again, keep in mind that this is multiple people to one. So many friends can send money to a, another friend celebrating a birthday. So I will send $10 to another friend, Marie France. So right now, Marie France's balance is 25, okay? I'm buying $10 to top up Marie France card. Congratulations, thank you for your order. We are going to upgrade Marie France card with $10. She received the push. You got a gift from Philippe for $10. Boom, $35 now is the balance. But wait, <laughs> there is There's more. more. There's more. <laughs> now, what would be all of this without a powerful advanced store card activity, analytics, and reporting? There you go. Here's your dashboard where you can track everything about your gift card activities. Let me just quickly run through this. So from top left, you've got the amount of uh, $25 gift cards purchased, the amount of $50 gift card purchase, $100 gift card purchase, total amount of the value of the $25, the total amount of $50, the total amount of $100, the total purchases, you know, from this was from January, 30th to Feb 28, the amount of times the, the store card was used, the total amount of top ups, the total amount purchased, including the top ups, the average order value, the average top up value. But then most importantly, what you've got at the bottom is the balance, total amount purchased, including top ups, total amount spent, and then the running balance that the local business has in the bank.